In this video we will be learning the basics of how to create a Discord bot without coding knowledge, using the app Bot Designer for Discord available on iOS and Android devices. First of all we have to install the app, open your device's store, in this case I will install it on Google's Play Store. Look for Bot Designer for Discord on your app store and install it. It may take some time depending on your internet speed. Also, the application has a built-in template store, where you can add to your bot commands created by the community, totally free. Once installed, open your favorite browser and look for the URL discord.com developers, and press enter. Discord may ask you to log in, if you are not logged in the developer portal already. Once logged in, all we have to do is create a new application by clicking the new application button, then set any name you want for the application, this can be changed at any time. Once you name your application, click the create button. After creating your application, you may want to change the application avatar, name and maybe add some description for the application. The description you set will be show in the bot profile once we create the bot. If you do not change these settings now you can just change them later at any time, so don't worry about it. Now, we just press the menu burger icon at the top left and go to the bot tab. We have to save changes before going to the bot tab. Once we are in the bot tab, we can finally create our bot by clicking the add bot button. Here we can set a name for the bot, in this case I will set it to test bot. Now, we have to scroll down a bit till we reach the privileged intense category with switches, and we have to turn on all the three switches, we do this, so our bot works properly with all the commands of the bot designer for Discord app later, if you do not turn these switches our bot may not work properly, especially the third switch. Make sure the code grant switch is turned off, and make sure that the public bot switch is turned on, if you want your bot to be public, if you turn that switch off then you will be the only one able to invite your bot. Now we just save changes, and then we click the reset token button. Once you click the reset token button, click the copy button, so you can copy your bot's token to connect it with the bot designer for Discord application we installed. After copying the bot token, let's go back to our mobile homepage, and let's open the application bot designer for Discord, the application that we installed at the start of the video. Once we are in the application for the first time, we will skip all this information, and we will have to pick an option here to set up our advertisement preferences. Before adding our first bot into the application, we will log in, so we can synchronize the bots with other devices we use, and with the web application in case you ever will use it. Logging in will also save your bot commands in case you lose your device. Once you are on the Discord's authorization page, we just scroll down a bit and click Authorize. Then, we will be redirected to the Bot Designer for Discord's success page, we just close the page and open the application. Click the Create New Bot button, and fill the form with any name you want to display in the application to identify your bot. After setting up the name, you can finally paste the bot token we copied some steps ago from the developer portal in the token input. Now we just accept Discord's and bot designer for Discord's terms of services and hit the create bot button. Now our bot will finally be added in the application, we just select the bot. Before inviting the bot, we need to host it, so it goes online. To host it, we can either click the add hosting time button, to add 30 minutes of hosting to the bot immediately. Or we can add 2 hours and 40 minutes of hosting time, by clicking the watch add for hosting button. 
Once you click the button, an ad video will display, and after you finish watching it, you can close it and get hosting time. You can accumulate hosting time this way, and whenever you want just watch more ads to add more hosting time. Now that our bot is hosted for almost 3 hours, we will add our first command. Go to the commands tab and hit the command creator button, where we will create a simple command by using the checkboxes of the command creator. You can put any name in the command name input, it's just to identify the command in the commands tab. In the command trigger input you have to put the message the person has to send on Discord to make the bot respond. In this case we will use the exclamation sign as bot prefix and hello, so the bot will respond to exclamation hello in the chat. Since we will create just a simple command that responds the user that puts exclamation hello in the chat, we just hit the send reply message checkbox and let's put a simple reply with a function to get the user's username. On bot designer for discord the function starts with a dollar sign, if we type dollar username it will return the username of the user that typed the command trigger in the chat. There are a lot of options to create commands with the command creator, and there are over 200 functions in the app to use, but we won't explore that on this video, as they are too many things to expand and detail. Let's save the command we just created with the command creator by hitting the create command button. After hitting the button, we will be redirected to the command editor, and we will see the command we just created with the command creator, we can edit anything there, or just keep it as it. Since we just created the command, let's go to the next step which is adding our bot and testing the command created. Let's go back to the bot home tab. Now let's hit the invite bot to server button. Here we can configure the invite link, we can change its permissions and scopes, but in my case I will let it as default, you can customize the permissions if you want, but I don't recommend touching the scopes. Once you configure the permissions you want for your bot, just hit the purple button, and we will be redirected to the bot's authorization page. Just select the server where you want to add the bot, then hit continue. You can change permissions here too, but I will leave it with all its permissions, now just hit the authorize button and complete the captcha. Once you complete the captcha you will be redirected to the success page, we just close it. Now that our bot was invited, let's open Discord and let's go to the server where we invited our bot to test the command we added before. Now, if I type exclamation hello in the chat, the bot will respond with the answer I set before in the command creator. And as you can see the bot is hosted properly and responds very fast. I will show you other common functions that we can use besides the username function, such as the embed functions, which makes the bot send a most decorated message. I will edit the exclamation echo command. The echo command is a command that comes as default in all the bot designer for Discord's bots. You can delete it if you want. I will edit it to show you some embed functions such as embed title and embed description, and then we will check out other functions from the functions list. Now that we edited our echo command adding a title and description function, let's open Discord again and test it. As you can see, now the bot sends an embed message with a title and a description when we type exclamation echo. Now I will show you how to access the function list so you can check out all the bot designer for Discord functions. Just click this interrogation circle. And now we can see all the functions with its documentation and built-in examples. As I said before, there are over 200 functions, to be specific there are around 357 functions, while I'm recording this. Let's pick some random function, literally, random text is a function, that returns a random word of the list of words you give to the function, let me explain by showing you. I will add this function to the echo command, inside an embed footer, all we have to do, is put the function there, and edit its argument, by adding some words. The bot will pick a random word from the list of words separated by we just made. But 
as you can see, the bot is picking random values from the list we made. I guess that is all, I will make more beginners videos in the future, please make sure to check the description and the pinned comment, and subscribe to be aware of next videos to learn how to make more complex commands. Bot Designer for Discord has an official Discord community, where you can ask for support, and you can even ask me personally just by pinging me, my username is burk hashtag 3506, you can ask me anything there. Anyways, goodbye.